I'm running out of time. Here it is, pine needle one. If everything went exactly how we thought that it should, I feel life would be quite boring and predictable. Even so, without the difficulties, we can't even understand the good times. No, no, you have to stay out here right now. I cannot see what my camera is getting here. It is cold. I put extra ice in here because it looked like it was melted, but it's definitely still ice water. This is my um, fourth time, and every time I become more and more of a baby of doing it. I'm trying to do my timer this time. So I put socks on, it helps a lot. We just go for it. And YouTube, I'm very upset about. Maybe I will try and talk about it while I'm in here because I feel like I need something I need to like express myself while I'm, while I'm suffering in right. here. We are going to begin our timer. So start. <sighs> I'm just gonna sit here for a second to acclimate. So what YouTube did, which I'm so angry about, breathe, is they completely age restricted and deep monetized my last video doing an ice bath. And I don't know why. There was no reason for them to do so, but I was so mad and I like appealed it even. It was because I was wearing a bikini going into the bath for a brief moment. And that's not fair because if it was a guy in swim trunks, it wouldn't have happened. The body's starting to go numb. All right, we're, we've done a minute. I'm gonna take this out. So I'm going to um, put my head in a little bit, but I wanna get up to two minutes even though right now, um, I get towed. Right now. Ah! I'm just gonna put my head in. I don't want to get my hair all wet. This is the worst part. Okay. Okay, we did 150. I'm trying to be very calm right now, but I'm hurting a lot. I'm calm, I'm chill. And I know I didn't um, put my whole self in it all the way the whole time, but I've been experimenting doing different little things every time just to keep it interesting for myself. I'm very red. Fred, Fred. <laughs> yeah, this part is like, I don't know if you can tell the difference in the mirror, but this part is kind of white and this part's like all red because that's the part that I was sitting in. This is the longest time that I've gone in for and I'm, I'm getting used to it. Um, I can take cold showers so much easier now. Um, right after I take an ice bath, I feel very alert. <sighs> the, the reason for the ice baths, there's a lot of different reasons for me. The main ones is my, it's for my mental. Um, it's also good for endurance and discipline, and I really need that right now. And things have not been going the way I want them to, per se. But everything has a proper plan, and it's not for me to decide what's good and bad for me. So I'm just going to accept what, accept things, and just try and figure out a way. Oh, also, YouTube. I don't. Well, probably demonetize and age restrict this one too for no I'm, reason because the reason that they flagged it because it was for like sensual content and it makes me so angry that they see me as that and that that's what I'm like not at all what that what this is that is and it's just so frustrating that they take my wholesome content and make it unrestricted. I'm kind of shivering now but yeah, uh, I was very sad about that, like, grass. Oh, that's a squeak. Going to the Amish store. So, I'm gonna get, go to the Amish store to get some things.
All right, so I'm gonna go into the Amish store now. Um, you never know what you're gonna get at the Amish store. Why there's so many sunglasses in here? So I'm gonna see what they have. Victoria Rose here reporting from Western Pennsylvania. We are having light snowfall at the moment. I'm here in Lake Wilhelm. It's really nice. My mom's sitting there waiting for me to do this and my lens is getting all wet. But I wanted to update you guys on what is going on with the whole situation. I'm running out of time. I talked about this on my live streams. I try to live stream like once a week now. Yeah, I'm a bit running out of time because I have to be in North Carolina now in one month. Getting a truck has been difficult. My camera's getting wet, but I want to go over here real quick. So, uh, my siblings got a place in North Carolina now. So I have to help pay for it because it's a house or a big apartment. So I have to be there in a month. So yesterday I was meant to get a truck, a Chevy truck. I was gonna go over and look at it, it was $3,500. Yes, it was Chevy, not Tacoma, but I could deal with that. At the last minute, I'm like, okay, send me over your address to the guy selling it on Facebook Marketplace. And he just didn't respond. I'm like, hello. And he's like, oh, sorry, uh, one second, my brother might want it. I'm like, dude, don't put it up if you are not gonna sell it. Like, oh, people are so frustrated. They're so flaky and it's so frustrating because you get your hopes up. And I had my mom and my stepdad waiting around, putting my hands on my heated coat. Having gone a truck yet, I, my new plan might be to try and get a pull behind, like a teardrop camper. I found one that's like four hours away, but it's very, it's $9,000, but I can't even afford a truck for $9,000. So I'm thinking maybe should I get an SUV? Because they're cheaper, easier to come by, better on gas. But I really want a truck to have that option of maybe I want to renovate a slide-in camper. It's way harder than I thought it was gonna be. And yeah, so I'm on a time crunch now. I hope by the next video, next week, I'm gonna have a truck because I'm dedicated. You'd think with these ice baths that would make me more resilient to the cold, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> like I'm so cold. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I got at the Amish store today, little Amish store haul, and hopefully very soon we can get into some content that actually makes sense. But uh, at least I'm glad I got to show you this little muddy area. <laughs> My mom thinks I'm crazy, but she uh, she accepts it. It's too much to think about. So I'm going to just show you quickly what I got and how much things were at the Amish store. Everything is, oh, I got this hat from um, Billy Bones brand and it's Australian. It's an Australian fedora, 100% felt. It's very nice of them. They just gifted it to me. So I just thought I would show you guys. <laughs> so I got some of these protein balls. They're, they were a dollar. Uh, I got this vegan Thai coconut big noodle bowl for 50 cents. That's pretty much. Like inflation is happening at the Amish store too, let me tell you. I got iron, which was expensive, it's 350 for the Amish store because I feel like I'm quite anemic. These two bags of rice for 25 cents each. Oh, I got this for Toad. It's catnip toys and I wanna show it to him. I got this Garnier Green Labs um, hydraulic acid watermelon um, 
SPF 30 for 250. I wonder how much it originally was. Four organic protein plant-based shakes for $1.50. These two Guru drinks, I would get more, but they're only 25 cents each. I like, it's more natural energy drink. More protein stuff. I just like to eat higher protein because I'm a vegetarian and I don't get a, in an, a lot of protein. So these are 50 cents for four, 15 grams of protein each, and they don't taste bad. So I like to get those. It helps reduce muscle and joint pain muscle and joint pain. I don't know. I'm having a lot of cramps right now. So I kind of wanted to try it on <laughs> like my lower back. Like it was, it was 75 cents. Let's see how it feels. It smells good. 75 cents. Um, chickpea noodles, which are 23 grams of protein each serving, which is very good. So a lot of protein stuff. This stuff smells really good. I like it. I'm glad, I'm glad I got it. The moment you've all been waiting for. Some of you have asked me about the pine needle wine that I made. Um, it's been like a year ago now. Um, I did try it briefly like half a year ago or something. And I, the file got corrupted and I wasn't able to post it. And it was really, really good. But I think now that it's aged even more, it'll be even better. Here it is. Pine needle wine. 122, 2000. This wine's almost exactly a year old. 122, 22. Today's the 20th. So I made this out of pine needles from the backyard. <laughs> you can make wine out of really anything. My mom's made it out of lots of different things. I'm like, hmm, let's try pine needle. And there was a recipe online for it. Basically, you took the pine needles and you boiled them. You took the juice from the pine needles and made the wine out of it. This glass isn't very clean. Swish, swish, swish. I haven't drank since I've even been back in America at all, but this is interesting. So we'll just have a little bit just to try it. And I'll save this for some very special occasion someday. This does not taste like alcohol. It tastes even more mild than before. It tastes like candy that's been melted into liquid. That is so good. I wonder how strong this is because it doesn't taste like alcohol. This is the best wine I have ever had in my life and I'm not exaggerating. The best wine I've ever had. It tastes like caramel. You know, I haven't tried enough wines to know the difference but I hate wine. I usually never drink wine anywhere. I mean, it doesn't taste like pine needles. It doesn't taste like pine or smell like pine. It doesn't taste like alcohol, but I can feel it as alcohol. But I need a wine. I'll sell it to you guys. This bottle is worth at least $800. It's year aged. I made it with my own hands. <laughs> I just put it towards getting a truck. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's sweet though. It's really sweet. Really sweet. It's a lot. It's some intense, intensely good. Um, comment below if you want me to make another one. I will since I'm already here, but hopefully by next week. If there's not a video next week, it's because I'm still in limbo, but there will be. By next week, we're gonna have something. I feel it. But we could just, once we get mo more momentum, we're just gonna go, 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 go. So don't get bored. Evie. Oh. Evie. <laughs> Calm. Yeah. I just want to thank you guys for being here with me and this journey of life. It doesn't always go the way we want it to, but that's that's the point. It's the journey, not the destination. I also want to shout out to everyone who is supporting me on GoFundMe. I'm so grateful that we can do this all together. And I wanted to put everyone's names that had the names on GoFundMe at the end of this video. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I love you, stay extraterrestrial, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> you like that, huh?